Hi everybody, in this video I am going to explain to you the command revolve. It's used for 3D modeling. Let's check it out how it works. Revolve. With this tool it's possible to create a 3D object by extruding 2D objects around an axis. As it happens to the command extrude, if we select open objects like a line or a closed polyline, we obtain a surface. On the other hand, if we revolve close objects, the result is a solid. I am going to show you how this command works. It looks like a bit tricky on the beginning. First, we have to find it on the same place where extrude and loft are located. Select the object to revolve. Press Enter. Then we have to define an axis where the polyline can rotate. It's going to be this line. I click on both endpoints. Now I can rotate around the line as you can see. Also, notice that the UCS adjusted its position to the rotation point here. Finally, to create a solid, I can set up the angle or I click on the place that I want. OK, let's check out a few examples. If I tap the angle 0 degrees or 360 degrees, it creates a wheel shape. So the command revolve can be useful to create these kinds of objects, especially those ones used on mechanical drawing. It's also possible to change the direction of the rotation. We can click on reverse on the command bar or type R. However, at the moment of selecting the rotation axis, if I click on the points in an inverse order, the rotation angle is automatically on the other side. Be careful with the axis of rotation. The rotation axis that we select needs to permit the object to rotate. For example, if we select this line as our axis, the object cannot rotate around there. Start angle. Let's suppose for, for the same object we don't want to start extruding here, but on that line. I click on start angle, then I click on a point on this line, and finally revolve the object to the second line, for example. That's all in this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you are not a subscriber yet in my channel, click on the icon that appears here. Then you can get easy access to the full list of AutoCAD tutorials. Alternatively, check out one of these videos, maybe they suit your interest. Bye and hope to see you next time!